Hey guys, before the video starts, I would just like to remind everybody that the new HZ Studios Patreon page is up and functioning. Be sure to check it out in the description below, but let's get on to the video. Hey guys, and welcome back to another HZ Studios tutorial. Today, we will be looking at something new from the team at videoconvertorfactory.com. I'll leave the link in the description. Now, before I start this video, I guess this would be technically sponsored as they gave me a short time access code to do a review on their products. Again, I will leave their link in the description. So if you guys wanna go check this program out, it is actually a very good price for all the functions that it can perform. So I uh, would suggest you guys go down the description, click the link, go to their website and test it out for yourself. So let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. Basically, if you cannot tell by the title, Converter Factory Pro, this program can turn, from my testing, nearly any type of video into any other uh, type of videos. What I'm saying is it can turn MP4 to an ABI, but there are so many more options with this program. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up a file, add files. You can simply do this. It'll open this pop-up window to choose a file, or with this drop-down, you can specifically select video or audio. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to open a video that I got off of pixabay.com. I will be sure to leave that link in the description if I remember. So here we are, I have this right here. We're going to go ahead and open this. And as you can see, this format is an MOV or what is also known as being shot from the iPhone. So I want to change this to an AVI or an MP4 or really whichever one I can use to upload to the internet. So over here we have this output format section and it's very user friendly, which I always appreciate in these products because people that are going to use this are, may not be extremely knowledgeable in, in the way that video formatting works. But as I said before, you would just simply go into here and under format, you can choose video, web, audio, or you can go up to 4K HD, or you can specifically format a video to any of these devices, any Apple, Samsung, Microsoft, Google, every, even Amazon, H, Blackberry, this program offers the most selection I've ever seen with a video converter. I don't even know what this, I can't even read that, but it still offers it on this program. So in this case, we have this video. I wanna make it so we can go to the internet. So you could go with web and this and it also has specific functions for such things as YouTube, uh, Vimeo, Facebook, Yahoo, even MySpace. And I didn't even know MySpace was still around, but it's, it's possible with this program. There is also 4K HD, but since our video is not in 4K HD, I would not recommend going up to 4K as it's just gonna really mess up the resolution. It's gonna look very grainy when you try to upgrade resolutions. So we're gonna go into the video category, and as you can see, there are a ton of options. Now, being frank, I don't even know what some of these options are. I assume these are for camcorders, and I don't even know what this one is. There's an XVID encoder, which is nice for uh, adding encoders to all your videos. But here are your, your classic ones up here. Your WMV, which is your Windows Movie uh, video, your AVI, MP4. Your, even your iTunes M4V option is available here. But right now we have a .mov, so I'm gonna turn this into an MP4. And then it can, right over here, once it sets that as our output format, I do have the output folder selected as the desktop. Right here, you can go into your settings and choose all the stuff that you want. But what I'm gonna do here is you're going to set the quality, this little slider here, to the exact same quality as your video. My video is 720p, so that's exactly what we're going to do, 1280 by 720. Make sure all your settings are good, and you can simply hit run. Now, one thing I do have to say is I, once it finishes, you're going to hear a, there is a very strange ringing sound, which is the only complaint so far I have with this program is the annoying, the ringing sound it makes. Wait, come on. Oh man, it's like, 
a very high pitched sort of sonar, which I, I really disagree with. So if the people that created this program are watching, that that's the real problem I have with this program. Just like a nice single high pit, low pitch ding would be perfect. But once that's done, we have our video right here. I'll just drag it right in front of here. And there is the new video with an MP4. So the next function we are going to look at is that this is not only a video converter, this is also an audio converter. So if you go to add audios, you can simply select this from your desktop or any place where you've downloaded the music. Now I will leave a description to this I will leave a link to this song in the description, just, just for the sake of copyright. But we have this in an MP4 style. I want to I wanna see what other options we have. So I'm going to go to audio, and we have all these wonderful options. We can even turn this into a ringtone for your Apple or Android device. So right now we have this MP4. So I want to change this into an audio file. So we're going to go into our audio section and we're going to turn this into an mp3 this is the most common one it's all set it's all set up we don't need to adjust the resolution of course because this is an audio file but we're going to go in here you can update the bit rate as i'm going to do 256 and the sample rate is set to the default of your audio so i'm going to go ahead and hit ok run and as it you get this nice progress bar to let you know and it will turn it into a .mp3 file. So I'm just waiting for that that unbearable ding. That's the only problem I have. Just change the ding in the program. It, it I really have not found any bugs or any problems with this. Oh, far. And there you go. You get the audio of this, as you can see, at .mp3. Well, thank you guys for watching this tutorial on this new program, the HD Video Converter Factory Pro from VideoConverterFactory.com. Again, it is up to you. I am simply doing an overview of the product. It is up to you guys to decide if this one is right for you. I like to emphasize the choice. So I have left the link to their website in the description. I believe at the time of this video, they are running a promo. I'll have to double check that and put that in the description as well. But there you go. So thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If you liked it, don't forget to hit the like button. Thank you to uh, VideoConverterFactory.com for allowing me to do this tutorial. And we'll see you next time.